Welcome to Mathematics with M's, Grade 8 lesson, Patterns, and now we're going to look at Numeric Patterns. Don't forget to give me a huge like and to subscribe. Remember, subscription is free. Right, the relationship between consecutive terms need not always be a constant difference or a ratio. For example, in the sequence 3, 4, 6, 9, the rule is add 1, then add 2, then add 3, etc., etc. Some patterns have very complicated rules. For example, extend the following number pattern by three terms, 100, 90, 81, 73, 66. So what is the difference between the numbers? 100 to 90, the difference is 10. 90 to 81, the difference is 9. 81 to 73, the difference is 8. 73 to 66, the difference is 7. So now you can see what's happening. So the next difference will be 6, then 5, then 4, and so on. So you can pick up these patterns. To determine the general rule to describe a pattern, you can describe the rule for a numeric pattern using an equation. Terms are the numbers of combinations of numbers and variables in a pattern. We can also use tables. To see the pattern and use it to find the next two terms in a sequence of numbers is good, but we want to do it better than that. So we want to be able to work out the value of any term in the sequence. Let's look at the following example. Find the 20th term in the sequence 8, 14, 20, 26. Of course, you can write out all the terms up to the 20th one to see. But there's sometimes another way to do it. Let's see. Stop one, step one. Organize the number sequence in a table. Note that N stands for the position of the term in the sequence and T stands for the value of the term. So position of the terms is term 1, term 2, term 3, term 4. So term 1 is 8, term 2 is 14, term 3 is 20, term 4 is 26, and so on. Step number 2. Find the constant gap between the terms in the sequence. In this case, it is a 6 because 14 minus 8 is 6. 20 minus 14 is 6, 26 minus 20 is 6. So there is what we call a constant difference between the terms. Step 3. Add an extra row to your table and write in the 6 times table. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. Look carefully at every term, the 6 times table and its position. Can you see that the first term is 6 plus 2? The second term is 12 plus 2, and the third term is 18 plus 2. Thus, the first term is first, which is number 1, which is the position, times 6, which is the constant difference, plus 2. So therefore, term 1 is 1 times 6 plus 2. Term 2 is 2 times 6 plus 2. And term 3 is 3 times 6 plus 2. And that's how you can pick up the pattern. So you can see that 1, 2, 3 is the position, 6, 6, 6 is the common difference, and 2 is the constant which you must add all the time. So the general rule for finding terms in this sequence is therefore the nth term is n, which is the position, times 6 times the constant difference plus 2. So therefore, the general formula is then Tn equals to 6n plus 2. Step 4, so to find the 20th term in the sequence, we use the general rule and substitute n equals to 20. So now we can quickly find 20 now. So put 20 into n, it will be 6 times 20 plus 2. So that term therefore is 122. Let's do another example. In the numeric pattern 5, 18, 11 and 14, the first term is 5 because it is the first number in the sequence. So we write T1 as 5. The second term is 8 because it is the second term in the sequence. So we write it 2, 2 as 8. We can write these terms then in a table. Like term 1 is 5, term 2 is 8, term 3 is 11, term 4 is 14. And again, you'll notice that 8 minus 5 is 3, 11 minus 8 is 3, 14 minus 11 is 3. So there is a common difference of 3. So the rule that describes the relationship between the numbers in the sequence is add 3 to each number to get the next term in the sequence. So you look at term 1, 3 times 1 plus 2. 
Because 3 times 1 is 3, but you need to add a 2 to give you the 5. Term 3 is 3 times 2 is 6, but you need to add 2 to give you the 8. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 2 gives you in term 3, which is 11. And term 4, 3 times 4 plus 2 is 14. So therefore, the pattern is therefore Tn equals to 3n plus 2. Right, this is Ahmed Suleiman with Mathematics for Amps. I hope you've enjoyed this short video on numeric patterns. Don't forget to give me a huge like and subscribe. Remember, subscription is free.